my name's Keith and I'm a visual artist. I've been supporting my family and myself with visual art for the last 25 years as a hairstylist. I'm making these videos to show that, unlike when I originally learned, uh, there is more than one way to do many, many things and if you're going to be doing this for a really long time, you're going to want to try all of them because 25 years, 12 hours a day, four to five days a week, um, yeah, that's all a whole lot of doing the same thing over and over if you don't choose to uh, approach it from the artistic standpoint. And uh, there's no way that this is a job that anyone could ever do unless they approach it that way. Might drive you nuts, might drive you crazy, but it's definitely not for the faint. Uh, the video we got coming up and I wanna start all my videos probably this way. Um, all my clients are amazing. Most of them I've had for a long time. The video with Gracie coming up is also one of my clients. Um, I also use photography as one of my passions, one of my outlets. Uh, I get paid for it sometimes. Um, but all of my social media I do myself and I always use my clients. I don't hire models. Uh, my clientele is beautiful. Why wouldn't I use them? And we all get something and we get to actually have fun and play. So Gracie, when she came in, needed a newer haircut. She'd been growing out her blonde to her natural gray. And it's beautiful and a really short, fun, spunky haircut really suits her perfectly. When she came back to get it recut, she really wanted to keep the length on the top, but really short on the sides and back. And one of the many ways to do that is with dry cutting. And uh, these videos are actually not for me. These videos at this point are for um, an amazing group of young people that I've met who I've been mentoring to do what I used to do, which is platform work, um, education um, on a broader standpoint. Um, I used to teach in an academy in Manhattan and other places. I used to be on design teams and national performing artists. And, and after 25 years in the industry, I really want to uh, help other people do that because, I mean, I already have everything. I've got a great family. My wife and daughter are both in great spots. And now I've got some time to play. And uh, I wanted to give back. So I uh, started mentoring these amazing people. And um, these videos are really just a way to share some of the different ways that they can approach things, but also share with other people. Because I'm not big on teaching as much as I am on sharing. Because if I can learn from you while I'm sharing with you, then we all learn better. And it, it promotes a much better um, viewpoint in our industry than the other possibilities that we could possibly go with. Um, so my approach with this haircut, dry cutting, used a comb, which I don't have, but these are the Sterling Mag trimmers, really simple product. I used to do platform work um, for a cutting company which had to deal with a clipper company. Using these with a comb I was taught was the absolute wrong way to do it, but when I'm cutting 10 people in a day as well as doing color on those 10 people. Um, this seems to work way faster than trying to please the masses by doing it the proper, most perfect way. So, really simple tool. Love this one. It's the Sterling Mag Lithium Ion. It's a great tool to use. Um, second one, my favorite brand of shears, Hikari's. These are the 741 Trendy texturizing shears. I use them for pretty much everything that I use texturizing shears for. They're only 20%, so you can be as aggressive as you want with them. Um, I always have great luck with them. Uh, when I use these for twisted texture, which is part of the video, it's uh, a really fun way to go. Uh, before I start cutting her hair, I've actually shampooed it and blown it dry. The only thing in her hair is my amazing leave-in conditioner. I found that using this for cutting lotion both wet or dry makes everything I do a whole lot easier. Um, it just makes the hair stand exactly the way I need it to, flow the way I need it to, and um, ultimately that's the only thing I use for blow dry on a large portion of what I do. And then for the final finish, um, 
transforming texture paste from my amazing. The beautiful thing about this is it is it's completely transforming and you can use it over and over and over again in the same application, which by the end of the video you'll notice um, I do two styles. And the whole point of the haircut being long on top is so it can be actually eight different things if she wants it to be. Um, finally, the video was shot on this, which is my OnePlus 6. Obviously not super high quality. Um, testing out some new gear here, which is the A6400 by Sony. And immediately upon finishing recording this, which is the intro, I'll be um, doing voiceovers with the Zoom H4n Pro. I only put all this in here because when I'm editing the video, I don't really want to have to type all that in. So to recap, Keith um, doesn't take himself very seriously to a place in his life where he's trying to help some people out and um, at the same time learn a lot of really great things from a, really, a, a lot of really great people. These videos that I'm shooting progressively will get better, hopefully, much like my photography did, and I'm still getting better up at that. And um, I know you guys are watching, and if you're not, I made this for you, so watch it. Uh, dry cutting techniques and awesomeness. Gracie, love her. So my comb, my clippers, this is one of my favorite places to start a haircut is just right there in front of the ear, just below the parietal on whichever side I'm at. But if you look, taking the hair, making the shape as short as possible while still maintaining all the length on the top. See my pinky for placement? that keeps that comb extremely steady and then just kind of going by feel very visual approach always moving the hair around always moving the hair around and looking if one way doesn't work check a different direction take off the little points and then we'll blend our and work our way back <clears throat> once you work your way back to one side start on the other side now rather than starting in the front I'm just continuing from the nape on the right side and I'm connecting from the old nape on the left side and then climbing up behind the ear and just removing all of that bulk. Now if you see I'm going on a diagonal there that makes that flow just really nicely. Once you get to the top of the ear come around in front of the ear and change direction with your comb. Always use the comb in the direction of the flow and around the ear right there makes it really nice and easy. Taking off that point, same as on the other side. Cleaning up in front of the ear. Always start from the back of the ear to the top and then from the front of the ear to the top. That way you keep from uh, putting any holes when you're trying to trim around with trimmers. Freehand trimming is just a really, really fun way of sculpting a haircut. Back to the diagonals, if I go diagonal one way on the right side, I'll go diagonally the other way on the left side. When the two meet in the middle and then you go back through and check both ways, um, anything that you may have missed will completely blend really smoothly. Got my texturizing shears out. Love these things. Too many miles on them, I need to get a new pair. But you can see now I'm taking just the short hair and I'm coming up into the long hair and just removing the line. And Gracie is laughing because I said something funny. Uh, that happens a lot. Moving the hair, moving the hair, always moving the hair to see how the texture is going to play through with the haircut. If you do this now, they'll never have a problem when they style it later. Coming up from the short to the long removing any of the bulk and weight. Make sure you throw hair around when you do it because it looks cooler. And you can tell I'm moving somewhat in a diagonal, the same as I started at the nape. 
and then as I push through, I get a little bit more vertical to make sure there's not as much weight in that one peak there. And then cross-checking the opposite diagonal. It just really melts those two lines together, but still retains the length. of the growth. And then you can see the two the short with the long. Watch how they come together. And pieces that don't matter, take them out. Twisted texture twisting the hair in either direction. I want to create a kick rather than a flow, so I'm coming up from the bottom on this section or from the side. Um, I found that, especially with strong hair patterns, if you do this, you can break up the strength of that hair growth and uh, really create a much better kind of shape and ease of control because you're depowering that growth pattern by taking some of the internal structure of it out but when you twist and use texturizing shears, there's no way for you to see the actual lines. Always just going back and making sure that no matter what you do, you're not gonna see any fault in that blend. Twisting, twisted texture. Now I'm starting to get toward, towards the front of the hair in front of the um, growth pattern which means now I can worry more about my flow. So as I move forward, except for this part where I'm gonna come up underneath to create more lift, but as I move forward, I'll move in the direction I want the hair to go in order to create a push because that short hair is gonna push and direct that longer hair. She is really excited about something she's telling me. I can't remember what it was, but I know it was awesome. <laughs> and fully blending from short to long there, creating ultimate texture. Ultimate texture. You definitely have to flip your shears when you make a point back. Anytime you're having a discussion, definitely do that. Makes it, makes it much better. Now if you can see now, I'm taking my twisted texture and I'm moving my hands through the hair. I'm seeing where the shape needs to be lightened up, where the shape needs a little bit more push, and what flow I want to happen. And you can see I'm pulling the hair with the twisted texture towards the direction of flow that I want. Running my hands through it, very visually checking, making sure that everything is gonna fall just perfectly. Sorry you can't see this, but I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. Twisted texture going in the direction of the haircut. Any little last pieces that need to be touched up so that fade from short to long happens in a way that's not going to leave any lumps. One or two little pieces right there. Remove those lines. definitely need to, to clean up that neckline. It's got a nice soft fade, but it's got to be taken care of. So last time around the ears, make sure that fades out perfectly. Creating that shape. And then obviously cleaning the neckline. Coming up into it from the bottom leaves it really soft, but you can still create that nice shape. Because, you know, as we discuss uh, masculine and feminine lines, when you want something more feminine or softer, or masculine or stronger, or you know, harder or more solid, would be more masculine, um, then you'll go in the opposite of that direction. One last blow dry to get rid of all the excess hair. And this was uh, blown dry with leave-in conditioner from My Amazing. Any little hairs that get thrown out with that blow dry, I'll always go back and check six or seven times to make sure there's perfection there. 
nothing worse than having a client get home and seeing something fall down where it shouldn't. And now it's the perfect time for my amazing transforming texture paste. And it's transforming because you'll see here um, just a little bit. Make sure you emulsify it completely. And then once you apply it to the hair, you can transform it in any shape that you want. Since Gracie is kind of spunky, we're going to start off with a fun spunky style. <laughs> And you can tell by her expression that she really loves it. Now this little bit extra I'm putting on here isn't for now, it's for the next transformation. I just want to show off the, the flow of this haircut. See how that melts right from short into long. It has an amazing shape. It fits her personality perfectly. But when she doesn't want to wear it that way, a little bit more transformation obviously transforming texture paste. The same way that you cut the hair and check the hair is the same way that you style the hair. Run your fingers through it, see what the shape does, see what the texture does. It's gonna scream at you when it's done. And you know you did a good job when you turn them around and show them the mirror and they smile. <laughs> Just like that. Now continue to move my hands in the hair because, you know, it's a creation of awesome and we have to touch it. Just finishing up. You can tell she likes it. Oh man, made me so happy. Thanks.